Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see the usage of the various text functions that are available to us in Microsoft Excel. As from our previous discussions, we already know that there are a bunch of functions that are given to us by Microsoft Excel and these functions could be used for a variety of purposes like for uh, calculating the logical output, the arithmetic output or the mathematical functions and much more. So in the same spirit in today's video we are going to see that what are the various text functions that are available in Microsoft Excel and how can we use them to manipulate the data or the text specifically that is available to us. So here we have some data with us that is available in the data column and this rest of the data I'm just going to clear out. So just select on all those cells whose data you want to clear. Just right click and click on clear contents and all its data would be cleared off. So first of all, uh, in the data column, I have some names. Now these names are uh, written correctly like their spellings are correct then uh, the normal camel case convention is followed first name and the last name are both starting with capital letters but the only problem that arises over here is that of a spacing as you can see in the first name there are so many spaces and then there is a written and the rest of the name is written correctly while in the second name you can see there is so much space before the first name and there is too much spacing between the first and the last names as well. And similarly in the case of the third name we have too much spacing in the beginning. So this is the spacing convention that you are bound to get whenever you are playing with the data of the text format. So how can we manipulate this data? Fortunately, we have a function in MS Excel just for this purpose and this function is known as the trim function. So how can we use that? Here we have this column of a trim function. All you got to do is select a cell. It could be any cell. Then press the equals. Now here you got to type the trim function that is T R I M. Then press on the tab key so that this function would be activated on its own by the Microsoft Excel. Now what you got to do is type in some of the text or provide it with a textual value. Now what we are going to do is just simply select this particular cell. So just click on it, then close the parenthesis and press the enter key. Now as soon as you do that, you can see that all the leading spaces that were present in this name originally have been removed by the trim function. Now what happens if this particular function encounters the space between two words like here in the second name Jim and Parsons. There is too much of spacing between these two names which should not be here. So what you got to do is just uh, when you have applied this particular function on the cell C10, then you want to apply it on the cell C11 as well. What you got to do for that is just click on this cell that is G10 and drag it downwards to all the cells up to which you want to apply the same function. So when you do that, boom. All of your data has now been converted into the standard format that is being expected. All the leading spaces have been removed and all the extra spaces that were available between the two words like in the word Jim Parsons or Peter Matthew have been removed completely. And that is the advantage of the trim function in Microsoft Excel. Now, if we just uh, take up on the length function that is len what will it do it will just count the number of characters including the spaces in a particular cell and will give its count to the user now suppose we uh, want to calculate the length 
of the words that have been encountered after the usage of the trim function. So now for the length function, what you got to do is just press on the equal sign, type in the word LEN, open the parenthesis provided with the data and close the parenthesis. As soon as you click on enter, then it would count the number of the characters along with the blank space that is present between them and give its total count. Now you can just drag it towards the end to find out the count of all the characters or the length of all this data that is available to us. Now here we have a column of len without trim. So here we are going to use this raw data over here. Close the parenthesis. And here you can see that this was the length of the data without the trim function. And this is the length of the data after the use of the trim function. So this gives us a clear understanding that how much spaces have been removed by the trim function. Now what happens if you want to convert all of your data into an uppercase format? For that you have a function in MS Excel known as the upper function. You gotta write it, open the parenthesis, supply the data and close the parenthesis. So it will just convert all of your data into uppercase but as I already told you it will not sanitize the data it will only convert whatever data that it gets into the uppercase fashion now what happens if you want to convert your data into a lowercase format you just got to type lower open the parenthesis get the data close the parenthesis hit enter and then just drag it downwards so that it would all be converted into a lowercase format. Now, what is a proper case? A proper formatting, what it does, it capitalizes the first letter of each word and that is the proper case formatting in Microsoft Excel. Suppose uh, we just type in the word proper, open the parenthesis and supply it with this data. Then close the parenthesis, hit enter. Then you can see that it takes data from the lower case and capitalizes the first letter of each word like this. Now, if we just drag it down to here. So this is the proper case formatting as per the Microsoft Excel function. Now we have some more functions or these text functions which hold utmost importance. Now, I have two words written, which are programming and knowledge in two different cells. Now, I want to combine them together to make the name of the YouTube channel you are just watching. So for that, what will I do is use a concatenate function. Press equals, then write in the word concatenate, then provide it with the contents of the two cells. First of all, the contents of the first cell, then put a comma then the contents of the second cell and close the parenthesis. So it combines or joins the contents of both the cells together. Now what happens if you want these two words to be separated by a single space? Then in that case, you can just type in the word concatenate, provide it with the contents of the first cell, put a comma, within double quotes, write a blank space, again put a comma, and then provide it with the contents of the second cell. Then close the parenthesis and hit enter. So that's what the output we have got, programming space knowledge. Now what happens if the data instead of knowledge, we have got something like this, which has a number of leading blank spaces. So first of all, we need to remove those blank spaces because we do not want this kind of data. So for that, what can we do is use a trim function. So how can we use a trim function inside a concatenate function? Or how can we use a function inside a function? For that, you got to simply type the equal sign, then type in the concatenate function. First of all, provide it with the contents of the first cell, then put a comma. Now, instead of the regular joining, we want it to be joined with the output of the trim function. 
So here in write in the function trim, open the parenthesis, provide the trim function with the data, close the parenthesis for the trim function and then close the parenthesis for the concatenate function and hit enter. So that is what the data we got and that's exactly what we wanted. So that is how you can use the various text functions that are available in Microsoft Excel. I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. For more such tutorials, keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge.